for a much needed and much welcome diversion. The NFL is back. Here we go, week one. Taking about seven yards deep. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25 yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their veteran signal caller. In his ninth season now, it's Kirk Cousins. Leadership skills apparent early in his life carried over not just in high school but in college where he was a three-time captain of the Michigan State Spartans and learned the art of the comeback early in his career there and actually capped off his career with a big comeback in a bowl game before going off to the NFL. They go play action here on first down. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Cousin sack. A big loss. On That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. across the 20 before going out of bounds. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second down. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And it's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First carry for Nick Chubb. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. It's a lineman still. To this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. To the 49-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. From just shy of midfield, Cousins over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Julio Jones, his Pro Bowl receiver, and it's third and five. Brings up He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Cousins from the gun on third. That's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? Who do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. From the 38, Cousins. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. They are led out by an eight-time Pro Bowler in his 16th season out of Cal. It's Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self. Because coming out of high school, he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level. Went to a junior college, went to Cal, and just blew up there. And then, of course, is a first-round draft pick, but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round, and then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot. 
Now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Here's Jones. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Now what a first down pickup of eight. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease. They to store it for a solid game. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. The linebacker C.J. Mosley in on the stop. It's a pickup. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. Like, okay, you can stand up when the going gets tough in here. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. And it's third down. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And Tate's got it. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. An eight-yard pickup. First down, Chicago. We're scoreless after one. With no score. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Now Jones. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Ronald Jones, the ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 25-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Good route, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Rodgers. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Roger. It's a gain of five, and that's going to lead to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Credit the sack to Shaquem Griffin. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike still there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. A hit as he throws there incomplete. 
But we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He's standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good pickup. 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Lions, nothing. That will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Number 24, Nick Chubb, the ball carrier. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And they open down the middle of the field. And they'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Now throwing on first down and completing it, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing. Our score at the 36 yard line. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. The left side completion to Jones. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. He can really smell 800 catches right now because that last one puts him in. Looking for Jeffrey and it's intercepted. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. They were in a very good position to come up with a go-ahead score there. A really good drive. Instead, it turns into six points going the other way. Psychologically, I don't know what that's going to do to them. So as a coach, you're looking at that as at least a 10-point swing, right? Because they had the field goal in their back pocket. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10-point swing, maybe more. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Tyler Bass set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And Detroit getting set to go now. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Back to it after the pick six. Cousin. The toss here completed to Pittman. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That's good for a Lions. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Six-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Again, it's Cousins. 
An interception made by Alshon Jeffrey. He takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Cousins. His pass caught at the four. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Julio Jones, the lone receiver left. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. able to get this back with it a touchdown. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, headed into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. Full half to be played. The Bears take over first and ten. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. And that's caught inside the 35. And finally, he's taken down at the 18. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Rogers pass. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. At the 13-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Eluding the pressure right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll look to run with Morris. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Zach Moss with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bears will extend their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Lion seven. Tyler Bass. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Mario Davis, one yard gain, brings up second and nine. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. Jason Myers set to kick off. 
We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Escaping the pressure right. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Rodgers. They go screen. This is Ingram. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Samuels, the ball carrier. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Taken down at the 43-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And now this pass brought in by Brown. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Down right around the 25. The ball carrier. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 13-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run here with Marks. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there. And he's got a Bears touchdown. Zach Moss making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut as the Bears push further out in front. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. 
very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, in a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Tyler Bass set to kick off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Second and six at the 29-yard line. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call is since that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. They'll try the draw now with Chubb. Despite the heavy running, he'll be hit and drop shy of the 45. He was given five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and five now. Cousins. They'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. A first down throw for Cousins. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. A throw over the middle, taken in. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So the false start will back them up five. Got where they were, perhaps. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he's going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, I get it, Charles. Desperate 
times call for desperate measures. Down big, they just sent their receivers out, let it fly, but the defense, they were ready. Yeah, and there aren't too many people left in the stadium that couldn't see that coming, but that's not a major criticism at all because you had to try it. What you're hoping for is one of your athletes out-athletes everyone else and makes a dramatic play. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Shaquem Brent, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world up to the challenge. And he'll be taken down all the way inside Detroit's 20. The tackle a big the run there by Jones. 61 yards that time on the ground. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. He's brought down. At He's the definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. On second down, Ingram. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as it did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. recovery by the defense these past few downs able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here so it's three more points and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth and you know in this league you can never have enough points but this widens it out as you said and now it's all about ball control isn't it Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards the gain there. Second down. And seven at the 28-yard line. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a gain of six. On third and one, here's Cousins. It's caught. Jones. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And that catch, he just hit number 800 in his NFL career. And just think, that puts you in top 35 range. Oh, and that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. He'll get this one to Pittman. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. This will be caught inside the 10. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. And he's not able 
able to get away, sacked back at the 22. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. From the gun, here's Cousins. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Cousins pass intended for Julio Jones. Incomplete. Maybe one final chance here to make this a bit more respectable as he'll go for it on fourth and goal. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And defensively, that might just seal a week one victory. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense and this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road no less as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter and he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21 yard line Today's final so this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears and with that our journey begins Charles week one in the books gonna be a great season oh man so much to look forward to isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate preseason behind us all these games count now don't they yeah this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come so for Chicago, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week.